Hello, this is John Rankin with the TEI International, TEII.org. This is number two in my series, The Good News in the Face of Political Evil, and also the second of five vignettes on the issue of what about rape and incest in the face of the abortion debate. In April 1989, I was invited to debate uh, uh, Marianne Sorrentino, the former president of Planned Parenthood in Rhode Island, at Brown University, and she had been excommunicated by the Roman Catholic Bishop in Providence for her work with Planned Parenthood. We had a packed audience at Sales Auditorium in the middle of the campus. During Marianne's opening comments, she talked about uh, the legacy of Margaret Sanger, uh, the founder of Planned Parenthood, or the precursor of Planned Parenthood, uh, and how she stood in that proud tradition. I was a little bit taken aback, and during the interaction period, I asked her, was she aware that Margaret Sanger um, was published in her support of Adolf Hitler in the early 1920s for his eugenics program? And she was taken aback by that, didn't really give a, a positive answer, and in many ways, I think, lost much of the audience at that point. We had a good interaction. Uh, it was pleasant. She's a partisan. We disagree. Uh, during the Q&A, uh, on my to my right in sales auditorium, seven rows in, a woman uh, stood up and she said very simply to me, the evangelical pro-life minister at Brown, she says, what about rape and incest? The moment she said that, the entire audience became stone quiet. This is the question because it touches such deep human pain and how does a pro-life uh, person respond? Now. The sales auditorium in which we held the debate was built in 1881. This is 1989. All the seats with their flip-top tables were all bolted to the ground and to the seats. And during the whole evening, you could hear as people shifted their body weight, the creaking of these uh, century-old bolts. But the moment this question was posed, stone quiet. So I looked at this young woman and I said, that's a very good question and let me ask you a question. It turned into three. This was ad hoc. I said, is it fair for me to understand that you, like me, in your life are seeking the qualities of peace, order, stability, and hope? She affirmed yes. The entire audience affirmed yes. And the quiet background continued. I said, okay, let me also ask you, is it fair for me to assume that you, like me, are seeking to live, to love, to laugh, and to learn? Again, the same positive uh, response on her part uh, and the audience as well. And, um, and this is what later I called the posh L's or peace, order, stability, and hope to live, to love, to laugh, and to learn as being central to the image of God. And that's what I was seeking to do is to honor her humanity as an image bearer of God and ask her if she were seeking these qualities. So then I asked her the third question. I said, okay, in the face of the hell of rape and incest, and I use the word hell theologically, because uh, a violent rape of a woman uh, is just as evil as murder. Uh, and murders and rapists are of the same uh, lack of human quality in their actions, or forsaking of human quality, I should say. Uh, murder ends a life. Uh, rape destroys a life apart from the intervening grace uh, of Jesus Christ. So I said, uh, in the face of the hell of rape and incest, does abortion unrape the woman and return to her the lost qualities of peace, order, stability, and hope, or does it only multiply the brokenness further? And you could hear a pin drop. Everyone in the audience knew what I was aiming at. Does abortion unrape the woman? That does not take away at all from the extraordinary evil of rape and incest, but it says, how do you deal with such evil, which of course is a far uh, deeper uh, theological question. So anyhow, uh, this is my approach to anything when it comes to the good news in the face of uh, political evil. The good news is we're made in God's image, and despite the evil we have, uh, the good news and faith in Jesus the Messiah is the way to address uh, the way to overcome uh, such intrusion of evil, and in this case, political evil, because of the legal status of abortion in this country. Thank you so much, and God bless.